Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my new walking stick. If you've seen these couple of videos, you'll know that I've already had a walking stick for some time, but this one's different in a couple of ways. So we're going to talk about it. Guess what I've got? You might be able to tell what this is by the shape of the box. How pretty! So this is a little different than the ones I've had before. Different shape handle, beautiful new colour, and a little surprise at the end. Let's get it out. This colour is called Bubblegum Blush and I've been thinking about it for years. And here's a little bit of a surprise for this one. Not that I can get into the box. This is why I'm not on a boxing channel. Okay. So. Frul pink. It's a really good like colour that goes with it. But I got the light to go with this one. So it's like a little tiny torch. It's LED and it's USB, so you don't actually, you know, need batteries, which I think is great because batteries are so annoying. I have, you know, the the power blocks. Bricks. It's so cute. I need to read the instructions. To turn on, press twice. Torch. This feels so tactile and smooth compared to the ones that I own. Have the couple of scratches wear and tear. They've got some dirt on them. They've been outside. They've existed in the world, so they're not quite as pristine as this. But I'm going to turn the light off because it's not very effective in the daytime. It does do a bit, especially you could see it at the bottom. But I don't think it really has the same wow effect. I'm really surprised that it says on the box, like this is like a little magnet. So there's little magnets here and there's a little metal ring inside the ferrule. And so it stays up so it doesn't like rattle. That's genius. Here it is, it's my new stick. I wanna let you know that this video is not sponsored and I was not sent this for free, but I was given 50% off because I let Lindsay know that I was gonna be doing a video about it. But of course my opinions will be my own and she has not told me anything to say. But this is adding to my lovely collection. Can't stop looking at it. So like my other sticks, this stick is from Neo Walk. It's also got the bubbles because I think they're so beautiful. You can get ones without the bubbles, but I'm a bubble person. This color is called Bubblegum Blush. It's kind of a pink coral color. Sometimes it looks a bit orange. Sometimes it looks more pink, depending on the light. And it's so beautiful. Every time I do a video about one of the Neo Walk sticks, I just can't help myself but constantly say how pretty it is because they're all just so gorgeous. So this one is 33 inches, I think, which is the height I need for flat shoes. So I bought another flat shoe one because most of the time I'm wearing flat shoes when I'm walking. I do have a stick that goes with high heels, but I don't use that as much because usually when I choose high heels, I'm using the wheelchair. But you may notice that this one is slightly different to the ones I've had in the past. It's a different shape. This is called the question mark handle and I got it partly because I wanted a new stick, but I also just wanted to try out a different handle. One thing I'm so excited for about this stick is it lights up. I've not had a light up stick before and I've been thinking about it for ages and how cool it will be when I'm out at night or in the evening on the way home from the pub to have a light up stick. So this time I paid a little bit extra and I got the light up stick function. How it works is you take off the ferrule, which I think is a little bit tricky if you've got weak hands like I have and then there's this tiny tiny torch so it's just a tiny torch and when you put it in the stick it lights it up and then of course you put the frill back on I'll get better shots of this when it's actually dark I think it's so fun and it really makes you more visible at night, which I mean, is a great thing for like safety. I wish there was a way to turn the light on and off either with a remote control, an app on your phone, or if there was some way to make a button be on the outside so you didn't have to take the frill off every time. That 
I find a little bit tricky because it hurts my hands. So because of that difficulty, I won't be putting the torch on every single time I use it. Only when I'm going to use it for long enough that it's worth the faff. There's little magnets in the bottom of the torch and a little metal plate in the bottom of the ferrule. So they magnet together so it's very secure and it doesn't rattle around, which I did think it might, but it doesn't rattle around because of the magnet. So I think mainly my only complaint about the light is you can't turn it on and off without taking the ferrule off. But other than that, I'm really excited about it. So let's talk about this handle. I'm going to get a different handle to compare. Oh. So these are my original two sticks. My very first one and the one that goes with high heels. You can see that this is a different handle shape. I believe this is called curve or regular curve or something like that. It's kind of the shape you'd imagine for a more traditional wooden stick and also it's kind of got that candy cane shape. It's, you imagine, you know, if you think of a candy cane or something like that, it's this shape, right? So whereas this one truly is a question mark, you can really see the difference in shape. And I've heard people say that they prefer the question mark because they can put weight in the middle and it goes straight down the handle. Whereas for this one, you had to put weight forwards. When I bought my first walking stick, I got the regular curve because honestly, I thought it looked better. I was still having a lot of anxiety. I was still struggling a lot with the idea of using mobility aids. It was a big step for me. So I just chose the thing I thought looked most aesthetic to help with my confidence. So if you also have a kind of issue with confidence, I would maybe suggest you choose what you prefer aesthetically so you feel proud and confident when you wear it out. I think this was the right choice for me for the beginning because it really helped with how beautiful it is, with how clear, non-obtrusive it is, and how the regular curve looks. The clear colour is perfect. It almost disappears into the background because of its clearness and that is perfect if you are anxious about using a walking stick people can't see it from miles away whereas these two are pretty visible they're a lot more visible than this if you want a bright color you have to be aware that they are visible if bright colors are your thing absolutely go for it but if you're thinking you're going to be nervous uncomfortable you're going to struggle with using a walking stick in public, I would probably start with a more muted colour just because they're less obvious, especially the clear because it blends so well. When I initially got the question mark, I used it briefly and I thought, honestly, I thought I've made a mistake. It feels wrong, the handle's different, putting the weight through a different part. You're no longer putting the weight forward, you're putting the weight straight down. I wasn't used to it, it felt weird, and I thought that I've made a mistake. I, I worried that I'd chosen something that wasn't gonna work for me, that it was too different to what I was used to, and that it was gonna be a waste of my money, my time, everything like that. That was quite a dramatic assumption, I think, for me. I am a worrier, and I do jump to conclusions. After a little bit of practice, and I say a, very, a little bit, meaning a very little bit, like a couple of days of using it here and there, 10, 15, 20 minutes of use, this feels completely normal. The weight distribution, not an issue. The feeling in my hand, not an issue. It doesn't feel weird anymore. It doesn't feel uncomfortable in any way. I'm surprised how quickly I got used to this different handle shape, despite the fact in the beginning it felt really foreign and weird. If you are thinking about going for a different handle than you've had before, or swapping to Neo Walk from a different brand, I would say you don't need to worry too much about the change in feeling because it was so quick to get used to. It initially felt wrong, it felt odd. I felt like I was putting weight in the wrong place and doing it wrong but so quickly it became very easy, it became obvious and comfortable really quick. So I wouldn't say you have to worry about it. Initially when I first started it, I did think I might be saying if you've got a handle that you like, keep going with it. Maybe there's no reason to change for a future purchase, but I think you don't need to be worried about it. You don't need to be concerned that whatever you love about your current stick is going to be removed if you change handle because like I said I got used to it so quick. 
you know, that being said, if you've got the perfect handle already for you, maybe you don't, there's no need to try other things out. But if you would like to try things out, but are worried about ruining your experience with the walking stick, I would say that doesn't need to be such a concern because I got used to this very different feeling incredibly quickly. And I feel really confident that this is going to be really useful for me and I'm going to use it and I'm not going to favour the others over this. I really feel like this is going to have like a fair chance in the rotation of the sticks, probably based on outfit more than anything, more than comfort and more than shape. It's probably just going to be a who goes best with the outfit kind of thing. These two are the same length and this one's a bit longer for wearing heels. I think they're incredibly beautiful and my confidence and my comfort has changed so much since I first got this one. It's almost kind of unrecognisable. If you are thinking about getting a walking stick but you're afraid of judgement, of what people will say, of people looking at you, of feeling un uncomfortable, worrying about if you're disabled enough, all of these thoughts really made me struggle and made me second guess whether I should start using mobility aids. But for me, they have been so good. They've both physically helped me and also helped so much with my confidence and my internal feelings about being disabled and look how pretty they are. I keep them hung on a little rail that's behind my mirror. They work perfectly there. One thing about the question mark handle is I do find it hangs better. If you're the type of person that's going to want to hang your walking stick, the question mark, though they all hang great, the question mark hangs a little bit better because it hangs straight down. And though I haven't tried the T-bar or the ergonomic handle, they're obviously not going to hang because there's no hook or anything to hang them. So I think storage is a consideration, but I think it maybe isn't the main thing. If you are thinking about getting a walking stick and you're afraid, or if you're thinking about maybe moving from a more plain one to a more out there one, and you feel nervous about that extra level of attention you might get of the extra the extra noticeableness that a more vibrant stick might have i would say go for it you absolutely deserve to use whatever aids you like and the instance of someone asking you about them or making weird comments is incredibly low in real life it does happen unfortunately it does happen but it does not happen in real life nearly as much as you're probably afraid it's going to happen. More often than not, it's children, which for me, it doesn't bother me at all because they're just curious. They've not seen something like the stick or the wheelchair before and they're just interested. More often than not, it's that. Sometimes adults are maybe a bit ignorant and ask silly questions or are a bit rude or unhelpful, but it's very infrequent. And so I'd like to assure you you can do it. You can totally do this if you need that bit of a push. There are a couple of other videos on walking sticks, how I got to this point, how I got comfy with it, and also the same for wheelchairs. But you can do it. I'm really sure of that. Let me know if you have any more questions about new walk or using mobility aids in general. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next week. Maybe, I think. Bye!